So hello everyone. Now in this video, I'm going to start from some number 15 from the exercise 2.2. For the previous part, please check the description box. The link will be there. So here, some number 15, 1, 10 inverse here in sine x in numerator divided by 1 plus cos x. Okay, you have to simplify this one. So all of you know that the formula of sin x equal to 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2. Okay, and here 1 plus cos x equal to you can write down 2 cos square x by 2. So now just replace it. So here sin x means 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 then divided by 2 cos square x by 2. So 2 2 cancel out cos x by 2 cancel out. So here 10 inverse sin x by 2 by cos x by 2 that means 10 x by 2. So 10 10 cancel out your final answer is x by 2. Now number 2. Number 2 here 10 inverse x by root over 1 minus x square. Okay. So first here 10 inverse x by root over 1 minus x square. So first let x equal to here sin y. Okay. So write down here 10 inverse here x means sin y and root over 1 minus sin square y. Okay. So that means 10 inverse then here sin y and 1 minus sin square means cos square. Cos square y under root that means only cos y. So 10 inverse, then here sin y by cos y, it's 10 y. Now 10, 10 cancel out, only y. So as here I let x equal to sin y, then definitely y equal to sin inverse x. So here y equal to sin inverse x, that is your answer. Now next one, sum number 3. In sum number 3 here, sin inverse x by 1 plus x square under root. Okay. So as here x by 1 plus x square. So let here x equal to 10 y. Okay. x equal to 10 y. So here sine inverse. Then write down here 10 y. And here 1 plus 10 square y. So sine inverse. Here 10 y. And under. Okay, in denominator 1 plus 10 square y that means 6 square y. Now root over 6 square y means only sec y. So you can write down here 10 y by sec y. Now here sin inverse 10 y means sin y by cos y. And sec y means here 1 by cos. Write down 1 here and here cos y. Cos y cos y cancel out. Then sin inverse sin y means only y. So from here y equal to 10 inverse x. So that one equal to 10 inverse x as your answer. So here we can write down cosec inverse root over 1 plus x square by x. That means sine inverse x by root over 1 plus x square. Okay. So as you know that sine inverse x by root over 1 plus x square that one equal to 10 inverse x so that one equal to you can write down 10 inverse x as your answer now next one sum number 5 in sum number 5 here cot inverse x by root over 1 minus x square okay cot inverse root of x by root over 1 minus x square so this one equal to you can write down 10 inverse root over 1 minus x square by x okay so now let here x equal to cos y. So as here x equal to cos y, then the upper one here root over 1 minus cos square y and here cos y. Okay. So now 10 inverse 1 minus cos square means sin square. That means only sin y by cos y. So 10 inverse 10 y. Okay. Now 10 inverse 10 y means only y. So here y equal to cos inverse x as your answer. Now next sum number 6 the last one here cosec inverse 1 by root over 1 minus x square. Okay cosec inverse root over 1 by root over 1 minus x square. So we can write down here 
sin inverse sin inverse here uh, root over 1 minus x square so if you let x as cos y so that means here sin inverse root over 1 minus cos square y and that one equal to sin inverse sin y so here only y and y means here cos inverse x so that is your answer now next sum number 16 1 solve the following equation for x so as here tan inverse x equal to sin inverse 1 by root 2 so write down here tan inverse x here sin inverse 1 by root 2 means sin here pi by 4 okay so that means here tan inverse x equal to pi by 4 and here x equal to 10 pi by 4 and that one equal to 1 so value of x equal to 1 now number 2 in number 2 here sin inverse x equal to cos inverse root 3 by 2 so next one write down sin inverse x here cos inverse now cos 30 the value of cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so you can write down here cos pi by 6 okay so x equal to here cos cos cancel out then sin pi by 6 now sin 30 means half so x equal to half that is your answer now number 3 number 3 here cos inverse x equal to sin inverse minus half so here cos inverse x equal to sin inverse minus so minus sin inverse half so that means cos inverse x equal to half means sin 30 degree so here sin sin cancel out minus pi by 6 then x equal to cos inverse minus pi by 6 okay so x equal to here cos inverse pi by 6 only and cos 30 cos 30 means root 3 by 2 so that is your answer now next one sum number 4 cos sin inverse x equal to half so as you know that cos sin inverse x the formula is root over 1 minus x square so that one equal to you can write down half now squaring both side 1 minus x square equal to 1 by 4 so that means here minus x square equal to 1 by 4 minus 1 so that means minus 3 by 4 now minus minus cancel out so x equal to root over 3 by 4 that means plus minus root 3 by 2 as your answer now number 5 number 5 here 4 sin inverse x plus cos inverse x equal to pi okay so here you can write down 4 uh, as 4 sin inverse x so we can write down here in the place of 4 3 sin inverse x plus sin inverse x plus cos inverse x equal to pi so now 3 sin inverse x as here sin inverse x plus cos inverse x equal to pi by 2 so write down here pi by 2 equal to pi that means 3 sin inverse x equal to pi minus pi by 2 that one equal to pi by 2 so here sin inverse x equal to pi by 6 then x equal to sin pi by 6 pi by 6 means 30 so that one equal to half so value of question number 5 that is half next sum number 6 sin inverse x minus cos inverse x that one equal to pi by 6 okay you have to solve this one so here we can write down sin inverse x minus in the place of cos inverse x you can write down pi by 2 minus sin inverse x as you know the formula sin inverse x plus cos inverse x equal to pi by 2 so here sin inverse x plus sin inverse x because minus minus plus and that one equal to pi by 6 plus pi by 2 so 
2 sin inverse x equal to here 6 is the LCM. So here pi that means 4 pi. Okay, pi 4 pi. So 4 pi by 6. Now 2 cancel out with 4, it's 2, then 2 cancel out is 3. So that means here x equal to sin pi by 3. Pi by 3 means 60 degree. So value is root 3 by 2. That is your answer. Now next sum number 7. In sum number 7 here you have 3 tan inverse x plus cot inverse x that one equal to pi. Okay. That is sum number 7. So here you can write down here 2 tan inverse x plus tan inverse x plus cot inverse x equal to pi. Now you know that tan inverse x plus cot inverse x equal to pi by 2. So here pi minus pi by 2 that one equal to again pi by 2. So that means here tan inverse x equal to pi by 4. So here x equal to tan pi by 4 means 1. Okay. So now the last one, sum number 8. So guys, if you like my video, please, please share this video and please subscribe my channel. So here tan inverse, then x inverse, here cot inverse 4 by x. Okay, cot inverse 4 by x. So now here you can write down tan inverse x inverse. Now cot inverse means you can write down tan inverse x by 4. So x inverse equal to here x by 4. Now x inverse means 1 by x. So that means here x square equal to 4 and x equal to here plus minus 2 or you can write down only 2. Okay. So x equal to 2 as your answer because as here x greater than 0. So x equal to only 2.